Welcome back to Ambitions Vapor. What up, squad? I hope you guys are doing well out there today. Well, I got another review for you. The one that you guys requested on Facebook, and it's on the IPv400 by Pioneer for you. And I'm also going to compare it to the Segelli 155 and the Fuchai 155. Let's dig in. So this was sent to me from Code 3 Vapor for the purpose of this review. It's not going to change my opinion of this box mod. It's the same size as the 155. 200 watt and 120 joule box mod. Does nickel, titanium, stainless steel 304. Okay. Doesn't have 316 or 316 L or 317. You But you can do that in your TCR coefficient ratings. The 510 is in the center versus on the side. It's a very nice, small, compact box mod that has the sx330 f4 chipset in it all right i feel like pioneer for use chips are on point they're pretty much really they're not the best i've seen but they're one of the best that i've seen so what we're going to do in this review is we're going to dive down i'm going to show you this show you the box do a temperature control cotton burn test on this and i'm going to compare it to the 155 and the fuchai 155 just show you it, just talk about it, discuss it, you know. Then we're going to come back up, we're going to vape on it, talk on it, pros and cons, uh, compare it a little bit more to the 155, let you know how much this is, where you can find one. If a mugger stole my book bag, would I go out and buy one and uh, wrap it up like usual? All right, squad? So sit back, relax, grab a vape, and uh, let's go do that now. See you guys in a minute. So we're at the close-up of the IPv4. By Pioneer for you. This is the box that it will come in. Pioneer for you. It comes blue, black, or purple. The IPv400. I'm sorry, I said IPv4. Whoops. Alrighty. Gives you some information on the back. You would get a warranty card. Three month limited warranty. Okay. These are all the places that um, support the warranties. It, user manual, different, right? Here's some specifications, might as well go over them now. 10 to 200 watts, 10 to 120 joules. SX Pure output is 10 to 200 watts or the same. The resistance standard is 0.15 to three ohms. I don't like the 0.15. Um, I have fired it down below that though, so don't work, don't take that too firmly. Joules mode is 0.05 to 1.5 ohms, which is nice. Uh, TCI value is 0.0005 to 00700, 50 to 700 basically. 7 volts, 6.4 to 9 volts. Output current is 1 to 45 amps. Input current is 1.3 to 45 amps. 100 to 300 degrees Celsius, 212 to 572 degrees Fahrenheit, and it uses the Yihai, it's not Yihi, it's Yihai SX330 F4 chipset. There's some protections for you, okay? I gotta get a smudge off my uh, screen there. It's a very nice manual, it gives you all the information that you need. You also get a quality control pass sticker, card. Then if you open this up, a little pull tab, you get a micro USB cord in there for firmware upgrades and charging if you'd like. Here's the box mod, the IPv400. Alrighty. Wattage up, wattage down, your fire button, your OLED screen display. Nice two-tone. I don't know the material that this is made out of. Probably zinc alloy or aluminum, okay? You have your micro USB port on the side. Uh, below is your Pioneer for You logo. 510. It's in the middle versus the Segelli 155, which is on the side. All right. So that's something to take into account. It's in the middle. It might be a little different to you guys. I like it in the middle, though. It doesn't bother me either way. A spring loaded brass 510. All right. Nice, firm 510. They're not the best 510s, but it does the job. Your rectangular oval uh, fire button. 
they're all very clicky okay then you have your battery compartment same as the 155 pretty much with the pioneer logo you click it open you have plus and minus goes in very nicely it's gonna say it's gonna come on and say pioneer for you logo one two three four five it will come on and say pioneer IPv400 okay one two three four five will get you into the menu system whoa one two three four five all right you can click that to shut it off you can hit the fire button again for power or jewel mode hit the fire button again Fahrenheit or Celsius temperature it does round uh, down or up one sometimes I've noticed that hit it again TCI nickel titanium stainless steel 304 only and then SX pure and then TCR okay I have it 105 is for stainless steel 316 L uh, 450 for tungsten or ceramic so you can do your own TCR coefficient ratings hit it again it'll give you the version it'll give you the Yi high SX 330 f4 chipset hit it again then you can hit exit if you wanted to or I can go to power mode okay give you the version again exit here we are so if I I'll show you how fast it goes 200 watts down to 10 watts you have your volts your ohms and your watts one two three four five we'll go back in go to Joule Fahrenheit keep all those settings exit out it goes up to 120 joules okay it'll give you your Fahrenheit your ohms and the joules that you're in if you hit the water jump and the fire button it will lock it hit it again it will unlock it that's what the recoil RDA looks like not bad it sits on there pretty nice if you hit that it will read the resistance the wattage down in the fire button doesn't do anything that's pretty much the menu system they pretty much look the same size like height width the whole nine um, the fire buttons nice on this er ergonomical feel on this is nice they're pretty much kind of the same weight same height this 510s over to the side while this one's in the middle same width pretty much size of this is 88 millimeters tall 41.5 millimeters long and 28 millimeters in width so you could put 25 millimeter in diameter uh rtas rdas whatever on here without any overhang a 30 millimeter there would be some overhang okay this thing you know tcr mode temperature control mode is supposed to be simplistic you know it goes to the temperature that you want and then it doesn't go any higher that's what it does preheat settings no preheat settings the preheat settings should boost it to whatever degree you have it set to faster it should not burn the cotton it should not vape like it's in wattage mode you know with a, a temperature control mode okay but I have got some auto fires because if you hit this in the corner and it, it can kind of like it got stuck on me a couple times um, it's been fine since, but uh, just want to let you know. Little button rattle, no battery rattle. These rattle a little bit. Okay, not the button really. This in temperature control mode is way better than this one. So I'm going to do a temp control test for you. So uh, yeah, got that set up. I have the um, stainless steel build in there with... Uh, some cotton on the Merlin RTA deck all right fire no liquid see it, it, it's it's showing that it doesn't have a liquid that's why I do the dry test I put some liquid on there okay I haven't done anything all right we're gonna fire It's vaping and then it says no liquid. It's 
it's tough to do on screen. It says, see how it says no liquid? I mean, there's liquid on there. It's probably not, like, hugely accurate on, um, right now, but it vapes really well. I'm going to vape this in stainless steel mode because I have stainless steel James Mucklin uh, Clapton's in here. So if I go in here, I reread it. That's pretty much the close-up of the review on the IPV400 and a quick comparison to the 213 or 155 and the Fuchai 155. All right. Let's definitely go back up to FaceTime. Let's vape on this. Um, and I'm going to tell you, you know, compare it to these two and give you my final thoughts on uh, which one's better or which one's not and uh, pros and cons. Final thoughts. Mugger stole my book bag. I'm going to go out and buy. I want to let you know how much it is. We can finally wrap it up like usual. And this thing just kills the 155 hands down. Now, I like the looks of the 155 better than the IPv400, but the performance on this kills this one, like 100%. It notices that there's no e-liquid on the coil, and it will say no liquid, and it will shut off. Now, that could be a little bit more accurate, in my opinion. Sometimes I'll have a little bit of liquid on there, and it will say no liquid, but you know, that's a small little thing. It does do its job. It does protect. It does temp control. Pros and cons on this. Well, I like the screen. It shuts off really quickly. Um, I think that's kind of nice, though, because when you look at it really quickly and you're vaping, nice that it does that. I have stainless steel, James Mucklin stainless steel uh, 316L Clapton's and Alien Clapton's in here. I have it in temp mode, TCR mode. Okay, 110 joules. 550 degrees Fahrenheit, it's reading a 0.13, okay? This thing vapes tremendous in wattage mode, in TCI mode, in temperature control mode. Enjoy this box mod overall. It's an overall nice box mod. I'm going to go over some cons first. Uh, con number one, it's a subjective con, but some people might not like that the 510 is in the middle versus the side. I like it in the middle, okay? It doesn't bother me one bit, but some people might not like that. One con I've noticed that could be a deal breaker to some people, um, it kind of freaked me out a little bit, but if you hit the fire button in a certain angle on like a corner, this thing will auto fire. Like it will continue to fire and you have to like flick around with the button to have it shut off. And that could be a huge safety hazard uh, if you're out and about and you can't get it to shut off. You know, <laughs> that's not really a... That's that's not a good thing, okay? Doesn't do it all the time, but I don't, I don't even want to get it to do it, but I'll try to get it to do it. Then I just kind of tapped around with the button and it eventually shut off, but if somebody, you know, doesn't know what they're doing or is not vigilant of what's going on with their vape thing, uh, it could continue to fire and blow up. All right, so... Uh, that that that's a huge deal. I don't know what. Uh, um, maybe it's mine. I'm not sure. But having it like auto file, it doesn't like auto file. I don't want to say auto file. It's just when you hit the button, it stick. It gets stuck sometimes, and you hit it at a certain angle. The weight of it, it's got a nice weight to it. Uh, it's very small. I mean, my hand. I got big hands, and I like where the fire button is because you're thinking, up oh, up. Oh, see there. There it goes. Thank God I got it on camera. I don't like that. I really, really do not like that. Pioneer for you, you gotta fix that, dude. That could be a huge, like, I don't even know if I wanna recommend it because of that. That is dangerous as fuck. TCI coefficient ratings, I definitely like that as well. The battery door, I like it. Uh, this does tend to get a little bit hot depending on how you vape. I vape over 100 watts on a daily basis, uh, especially when you're in joules mode or temperature control mode above like 100 joules you know, around 0 0.15, 0 0.13, shit like that. It can get a little, it, it's hot right now. This one got hot too. You know, it's not just pertaining to this box mod. They get hot. If you vape 0 0.1 over 100 watts and you chain vape it a little, it's going to get hot, especially on a dual 18650. There's no battery rattle. There's a little button rattle on the front twos. Okay, that could be a little bit of a con. It's not true 200 watts, period. It's not. This thing at like 110 watts, 115 watts, feels more like 100 watts, 
maybe 90, 95. So it's like, I would say it's probably like 80% efficient. Oh, it's not true wattage. Vaping this and vaping on the RX 200S at the same wattage with the same build and the same RDA, okay? This thing's a lot more powerful. I just wish companies would just make it true wattage. I think it's a safety feature. I think it comes with certain protections. Micro USB port up top, I like that so you can have it standing up on the desk and charge it. I wouldn't charge your batteries that way, but you can do firmware upgrades like that. The looks of it, the ergonomics of it, I like how it's rounded here. Your button sits there very nicely. I don't know if it's pertaining to just this one, but when you wrap your finger, there it goes, it scares me, man. When you wrap your finger around it and you just hit that corner, it, it does that auto fire, man. It's It, it freaks me out. 510's nice. Uh, it feels spring-loaded. Um, they're not like, I don't think they're the smoothest 510's that I've come across, but it's a nice 510. I mean, I definitely like the Segeli's 510 more than the Pioneer for Use 510. All right, battery doors, they're about the same. About the same. Battery compartment, about the same. Weight, about the same. Uh, the feel in the hand, this one feels better than... The 155 in the hand. Uh, this one has a center 510. This one has a side 510. 510, you know, uh, thing on it. And this one just kind of has nothing just with the 510. So you could possibly maybe scratch your mod up, you know, screwing on and off atomizers on this one versus this one. I like the screen a little better on the 155 than the IPv400. It's just a little bigger. Um, I liked how it had the battery indicators of what percentage they were. I've noticed on Pioneer for Use uh, products that like when the battery um, gets down, when that indicator gets like maybe around like 40%, it'll go maybe around 30% and then it'll just like die off completely. I'm hoping that's because they're trying to save your batteries from going below 3.2 volts on your 18650s. Because uh, that's dangerous if you go below that. I like to stay around 3.5 volts. And then when it gets there, I take them out, charge them. And they last a lot longer. FYI, I don't know if you guys knew that or not. Now they're coming out with an IPv6 and a IPv Yaris. And the Yaris kind of looks like the Q-Class. This is a lot better than this one. The IPv400 is definitely better than the Segeli 155. I wish that they did, you know, nickel, titanium, and stainless steel 316 instead of 304. Because I don't know if I've really ever vaped 304. I'm usually 316 to 316L. So that would have been nice to kind of have that there. But you have your TCI coefficient ratings. So it's not a big deal anyways. Everything that this doesn't do well, this does well. And it does more. All right. So, you know, even the Fuchai, okay. I like the Fuchai, I like the 213 or the 155 or whatever. I, I, I like the looks of it, I like it in wattage mode, but temperature control mode, forget about it. Just forget about it. Everything sits pretty much flush and makes a connection. There's a, like a little gap, but I like the little gap because it's not going to scratch the mod. But you can't really notice the gap. I mean, it's that minor. I like how they did the 510 on it. I, I like a lot of things about this. You can find this box mod at Code3Vapor.com. Link on screen and description. It's $59.99 on Code3Vapor's website. HR2058 and the Bishop Cole Amendment. We got to fight and support those amendments. Fight for your vaping rights. Go on Kassad.org. Go on Vaping Militia. Go to wherever places you go. Please donate. Um, we got to fight this. A Billion Lives uh, movie is coming out very soon. I don't know if you guys know about it. You probably do. But it's a movie by a bunch of, a couple guys that don't even vape that are making a movie for letting everybody know to open their eyes about vaping. It's a lifesaver. It's going to save a billion lives. I'll have all the links in the description like usual. They have an intro of the movie over on their uh, YouTube channel. I'll have the link in the description like usual. But um, th it's a big deal. It's coming out I think like August 4th or 8th. It's coming out right around like this whole thing. And uh, I wish it came out a little sooner. But I just want to mention and let you guys know about it. Uh, it's a good thing to support and watch. Hopefully it opens some eyes and saves people from trying to bash this vaping 
uh, this whole vaping community. Um, it's just, we, we really need it. You know, this stuff helped me get off cigarettes. It saved my life. If you found this video helpful, please, it takes one second. Leave a like, share, subscribe. Comment down below if you have any questions or concerns regarding this or anything else for that matter. I give you content daily. 1080p, 60 frames per second. Don't waste your effing bandwidth not being subscribed to this channel. Remember, squad, stay juiced up. Smoking is gone. Vaping is on. Vape on. They got to fix that because it almost makes me not want to recommend it. I almost don't want to use this because of that. Auto firing. I'm leaving it up to you guys. It might just be mine. If you guys do have this and you've had that happen to you, please leave it in the comments so other people know before they purchase it. I'll catch you tomorrow. Deuce.